Hello everybody one more time. This is Alex Centeno. Today we have a very very exciting tutorial and uh, we're going to be taking a look at how to falsely uh, use the GH4 to uh, produce for us uh, chroma subsampling or 444 instead of, well actually it's not chroma subsampling because obviously if it's 444 it is not subsampling the chroma. So um, to give it a little bit of context, the GH4 uh, can record internally as 420. Uh, I'm not going to go into the details of what that means, but uh, there's plenty of resources online for you to uh, you know, research exactly what that means. And if you uh, already know what that means, then this tutorial is going to be very, very fascinating for you. Uh, this technique, um, it doesn't... Um, I'm going to show you a technique that is a trick that I invented that will help you uh, produce somewhat of a 444 image. Um, so if you're excited, I am excited. So let's get to it. All right. Well, I am here in DaVinci Resolve and I have a new timeline with absolutely nothing other than just two tracks. So right click over here, add track, and you would have the second track here. I am going to grab my clip directly into video one. And there we go. And now I'm going to double click to load it right here. I am going to hit my right key, hit I, and then grab this clip and place it right here at the very beginning. So now if we go here to the end, we can see, well, let me go ahead and delete one of those audio channels. Uh, we can see that there's a frame of difference. Um, just a frame. Now, let's explain the technique before we even begin about this. So my concept is this. Um, since the GH4 is doing a chroma subsampling of 4 to 0, that means that it has complete luminosity sampling. Um, so it samples completely the luminosity and then it samples the, the two channels of color. It samples them uh, at two zero. But that means that it's sampling per frame. In other words, if I was to uh, grab two frames and then combine them uh, for their color information, then I could get technically uh, the color, uh, the accuracy of uh, 444 if that makes sense so so that's the technique obviously um, because they're a frame of uh, they're not in the same frame obviously you're gonna have a little bit of uh, smearing of the colors but the beautiful thing of that is that we can just use the color information and uh, discard the uh, luminosity information the detail information so that we can't really notice that changed so much. That's the technique. So um, we're going to select the top layer here. We're going to change this to composite mode add. Um, and it looks pretty terrible, as you can see. Right? And the reason is because we have the luminosity of both layers right now. So let's jump into color. And our uh, I want you to see V2 and V1. So V2 is at the top. So V2 is the one at the top. And this layer is going to uh, be providing for us only the color information. So let's create a node. In this node, let's call it chroma. Let's change this to a color space of HSL. And in the curves in the third channel, which is the L for lightness. Let's get rid of all the lightness information. And that's going to leave us only with the hue and saturation information. Therefore, now we have the combination of the, um, of the color or the chroma of the upper channel or the second frame. And then we have um, the light and color information of the first frame. And um, 
that's cool. Now, let's do a couple of, of things um, so that we, you know, so that we purify this a little bit more. Um, the first thing is in this chroma, let's go ahead and blur our chroma channel a little bit. It can be 51 here. And then in our detail layer, let's go ahead and create one here. And um, we can actually separate this into Luma and Chroma and then just apply sharpening to the, to the luminosity channel. But for this tutorial, all I'm gonna do is just sharpen it directly here. So we're gonna go to 48, about there seems right. Um, and there you have it. Uh, let's take a look at what I have here in the timeline. Uh, I'm gonna just get rid of this all together to show you the correction that I'm doing here at the end. So this is still vlog L. So in this first node, I am going to lower my lift here. Um, raise my gain like so. Lower my meds. Like so. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much its technique. So, um, let me see if we can um, summarize the technique really quickly. So, all I'm doing is placing the same clip in my timeline. And I have two tracks in that timeline and the second or the top clip I have offset by one frame. So the sampling of color in the top frame, in the top uh, layer is not the same sampling that was done in the second layer or the bottom layer. Therefore, by combining them with composite mode here, and so if you click the inspector you would see, by composite them compositing them in add mode, then I can get the color information of the top layer and mix it with the color information of the bottom layer. Uh, the only problem is the top layer has both color, color information or chroma information and luma information. Therefore, the technique is to get rid in the clip in the top layer, get rid of the luminosity uh, information by uh, changing to color space, color space HSL, getting rid of the third channel, which would be the L, so getting rid of the Luma information, then blurring a little bit the chroma information, and then uh, applying the sharpening to the uh, bottom layer the one that contains Luma and Chroma information. If we render this out, you would get the color information that is coming from two frames, which uh, are coming from the GH4 in four to zero. Uh, and technically it's not really four, 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 but it is a lot more color information. So, this technique obviously is probably not something that you're going to be using a whole lot. You know, it, it's a little complex. Uh, you know, you have to do this in DaVinci Resolve. Um, I'm not sure if it will work in Adobe Premiere or After Effects, but um, by doing it this way, it takes a long time to get, you know, very, very high level color information from the vlog footage. The cool thing is that it's there. And so if you really need like a very, very sharp video clip for whatever reason you may have, then in my opinion, this is a, a pretty cool technique. So I hope that this has been helpful. If you have any comments, questions, uh, concerns, <laughs> just let me know in the comments box in the YouTube comments box below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great one. Bye-bye.